Hi, my name is Eric Teo and I'm here to share with you my secret recipe which my mom have left behind. It's called a potato dumpling. This dumpling was actually um, consumed during my young days. In Chinese, our term is called gang tang yi. All you need to do is you need to have a potato, a good potato, a minced pork, green pea, white onion, garlic, eggs, and most importantly is a cracker, plain cracker. Now, first of all, we going to, of course, you have to rinse the potato, and you're going to place it in cold water. Add a little bit of salt. Bring to boil. Now, while waiting for the potato to boil, we're going to start with cutting up the onion. Now, we use white onion because uh, it's sweeter and has a very nice uh, texture when you bite. Garlic is really good for health, also can fight cancer and a lot of uh, diseases. The cutting is all uh, done. So what we're going to do, we're going to pour some oil. I'm going to fry the garlic and onion, saute. I'm going to remove it. Then after that, I put the pork inside. Uh, this way, I give the pork a good texture where there's a flavour already in the pan. Fry the pork. These are fresh uh, minced pork. You don't have to season it, just fry it fresh. Add a little bit of oil. So we fry until the pork is cooked. Then we will add the garlic and onion back to the pork. So this way, the onion is still very juicy. Garlic is still uh, fragrant, you know. Now we're gonna add the seasoning. We're going to place oyster sauce, two teaspoons. One teaspoon of sesame oil, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of sugar, half teaspoon of pepper, and about one teaspoon of dark sauce. We're going to add a bit of water. And now, you add your green pea. Uh, because the green pea has got a bit of sweetness. Uh. So we're going to thicken with a little bit of cornstarch. Okay. Maybe two tablespoons. So this will be the filling for the potato. And then you switch off your fire. You are done. And now, you add one more teaspoon of sesame oil. This is the secret. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to crush the cracker. I'm going to show you how my mom do in a mortar. Already done. We're gonna crack the egg now. I think about maybe four. So it's about 45 minutes to close to 50 minutes, you know. And depending on the size of the potato, when you poke through and you try to leave it up, it will fall by itself. Huh? Uh, more or less, it's very cooked. Peel off the skin. Okay. So one potato is actually one dumpling. Squeeze. Press the potato now. A little bit of dark pepper powder, salt. It's a very beautiful texture. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it into a ball and then make a little well in the center and put the filling. After three teaspoons, you just try to fold the side over. Okay. When your right hand is putting the flour, try to dust everything first. So from here, right hand will dip into the egg. Left hand try to keep dry. We just add a little bit of oil. So here we go, first one. So over here, you have a non-stick pan. Well, if you don't have a non-stick pan, it's also okay. You know, you just fill the oil half, half fill and you just fry both sides. Okay, this is the final dumpling. This is what my mom taught me. And now I'm teaching you, sharing with you, this beautiful potato dumpling filled with uh, salted minced pork and green pea with onion. I think you should pick up one or two skills from your mom or dad or even your grandma. What's her favourite dish? Whenever you eat that dish, you'll love her. Whenever I eat the dumpling, I still think of my mom until today.